Now, the biggest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, turns 15 years old this month and has seen various growth trends. This as uh, more traditional institutions are seeing business opportunities in this space. Taris Arnold, Business Development Manager at Luno, joins us now to unpack this further. Thank you so much for your time, Taris. Now, it's been an interesting couple of weeks with the geopolitics, monetary policy and economic growth in focus. What have the market movements in crypto looked like in the last week? So the last week generally has been a pretty positive week and for, for crypto. Uh, just alone in the last day, Bitcoin is up at about 4%. Ethereum is also sitting at about 2.4% up. And we're seeing even stronger positive gains uh, on the altcoin side. Polygon is up 7 and, and Chainlink is up about 8%. I think the Bitcoin price is probably really uh, a milestone there. At the moment, it's trading above the $35,000 threshold, which does have some significance as it was the kind of peak price just before the crypto winter, the crypto market downturn began last year. So it was trading with a bit of resistance, but it seems to have settled and uh, grown since there. It's trading about $37,000 $37, at the moment. I think it's building off the momentum of the week in the news. Uh, all right. Well, let's actually talk about Bitcoin turning 15. And it's been quite an evolution. I mean, just now you're talking about altcoins, so many other cryptocurrencies being added in that space. So just talk to us about, you know, the big milestones that, uh, you know, Bitcoin and also the, the cryptocurrency uh, space uh, have gone through in the last 15 years and also just how it looks today. Yeah, absolutely. So it is, it's for us in the crypto industry and crypto investors around the world, uh, Bitcoin turning 15 is a huge, huge milestone. Bitcoin was the real original cryptocurrency. Uh, I think it one demonstrates that while crypto is still very new to a lot of people around the world, crypto investors and, and non-investors alike, it has been around for a long time. We have been able to see that that growth uh, result in a lot of maturity a lot of expansion of use case utility so it has opened the doors for a lot of different other cryptocurrencies to come in a whole new industry to to grow around it luna being a big part of that uh, luna itself has just turned 10 this year so it's been a really exciting milestone of maturity i would say in the market and it's now really starting to uh, deepen itself in the mainstream and, and yeah. more traditional finance well, let's actually go into that because with that old mutual, uh, it now wants to invest in the uh, stable coin network. Just give us more information on that. Yes, absolutely. So essentially, for your viewers that may not know, a stable coin is a cryptocurrency equivalent of a fiat currency. So it's a cryptocurrency version of the dollar or the rand. Globally, the most popular ones are uh, cryptocurrency versions of the US dollar, mainly USDC and USDT. ZARP is essentially a cryptocurrency version of the RAND. Uh, it's been around for a little bit, about it last year. Actually, Old Mutual got into the space last year with okay. the, the team behind ZARP holding their reserves. And now we've seen the really exciting news that they will be pushing more more funds into that. And I think more importantly, on top of the funds, they've also committed to promoting uh, the usability and interoperability of ZARP in South Africa, putting some kind of strength behind something that's new. So we're really excited to see where it goes. Uh, all right. Well, uh, talking about, you know, uh, looking forward to where things go, um, because of this uh, institutional, growing institutional uh, appetite into uh, the crypto space, there's now also uh, the rise of hybrid institutions. Talk to me about how you see that and how that could work. Yes. So for the last 10 years or so, the financial world has almost been pretty pretty fairly split between companies that focus exclusively on crypto yeah. and those that focus exclusively on the traditional finance aspects they haven't necessarily been able to merge for a very long time yeah uh, but we're starting to see that change we've seen really big institutional traditional finance companies like blackrock and fidelity getting very, very involved in the crypto space. They're looking to launch Bitcoin ETFs in the United States. And we're also starting to see crypto native or core crypto companies expand their offerings outside of just traditional crypto offerings, looking at listing things like shares or tokenized versions of gold and other assets. So I think it is an example of, again, the industry maturing and 
both of these kind of two opposite ends starting to, to meet in the middle looking to provide the best solutions for the, the investor. Yeah, well, very, very exciting developments happening there as we celebrate 15 years of Bitcoin. Thank you so much for your time, Taris. That was uh, Taris Arnold, Business Development Manager at Luno.